of the signs Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we are going to take a look at what secrets are your, um, what secrets is your person keeping from you? So what are they hiding from you? What do you need to know that you don't yet? It is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Already, you know, there's, an, you know, there's a strong sense of an energy who is confrontational or who's quite defensive in nature argumentative as well so mental conflict confusion aggression is coming up very strongly in the energies Oops. okay could be someone who has ghosted you maybe in the past someone who has pulled away abruptly could be someone that you've experienced some tension and some conflict with lately maybe the two of you were in an altercation or a disagreement here maybe this person feels like you've accused them of something here or otherwise they are keeping something from you hence their very defensive nature true Okay, I see for some of you this is a person who's prone to childlike predisposition, childlike behavior. Okay, so someone who instead of talking, you know, talking through things like a mature adult, this person, you know, pouts and folds their arms over or who runs away. Okay, maybe to avoid conflict, um, maybe it runs away because they feel like it's going to fuel or escalate the conflict of tension even further all right so the cards do indicate that there is something your person is trying to conceal and i'm you know with the knight of swords energy i'm getting a wandering mind and this is them wondering whether or not they should share this with you okay and maybe it is something that they have shared with you in the past but it didn't go down so well it provided a, a great source of tension here so your person is also trying to figure, you know, whether or not to say this or whether or how to say this or if they should say this at all. They're wondering how high the stakes are. Whatever it is that they try, the secret that they're keeping from you, the secret that they're trying to conceal. Um, they're wondering, yeah, how high the stakes are. They're wondering if it's going to make you feel a certain way. If it's going to make them feel a lot less, a lot less authentic or genuine, um, they're obsessing about something here, and they're spending a lot of time emotionally and mentally on it. I mean, almost everyone has a secret of some sort, right? I don't know that. I don't know that this person is ready or comfortable to reveal a secret that they keep from you I feel like your person is someone who is suppressing the thought which ironically is making them focus that much more harder on it okay so this person is letting the secret uh, become buried hoping that it's going to go away or, you know, um, they're trying to act normal here. Uh, there's something here that then, it's like tell no one. That's the kind of energy that I get. Um, it can be, the, it can be because this person is desiring relations, sexual relations with someone else. It can be because this person, um, it can be some sort of a secret in relation to sexual behavior as well. So, for example, um, any fetishes that they may have or any sexual activities that they like to engage in. Um, they might be having extra relational thoughts as well. 
um, about someone who isn't necessarily you. Um, it could also be because this person feels like their secret might involve someone else as well. And if they share this with you, essentially it will break the trust of someone else here. Okay, could ha it could have something to do with a family detail as well. So uh, some sort of t family detail that this person refuses to share with anyone. It could be emotional infidelity. Okay, so becoming emotionally involved with someone who is not you. They may be flirting um, or developing an intimate relationship with a potential romantic partner. So an emotional affair, an emotional inf infidelity that has not yet manifested in the physical realm. Or it may have. Okay, so there is something here that this person is holding on to and they're scared to reveal it. And this is why I'm seeing that they get there's something here that you've questioned this person as well, or you've had some sort of com uh, conversation in which they, let's face it, they got quite confrontational about it. Okay, it's something that is weighing this person down. Um, and it's something that, you know, all secrets, big or small, um, they have a profound effect on the connection, whether you notice it or not. And to me, it's something here that is creating a cycle. Because this person is the secret keeper, they're creating a cycle that potentially might damage the relationship eventually. They are keeping you in the dark about something. There's something here that this person doesn't want to discuss. They're scared that if the secret gets exposed, if the truth comes to light, this person is scared that it may just be the undoing of this relationship. So, you know, it could be that this person has been, has cheated on you in the past. It could have something to do with the fact that this person has been disloyal with you. It might have something to do with family detail, as we've spoken about. But they're scared that if they do discuss this secret that it's going to have a very negative effect on your relationship and it could potentially be the undoing or the ruin of this connection i mean see most people are honest because of one thing and that comes down to fee okay so They fear being judged. They fear the consequences here. They fear confessing a secret to anyone. Okay, so... It is causing stress and anxiety. And it is affecting the health of this relationship and this connection. It is. I don't know... I don't, I don't know if because this person is holding on to the secret and in their head they're making it worse because they're kind of obsessing about it or they're wondering about it way too much. I don't really know that it's as bad as they think it is. Okay, because for some of you, I think you're going to be understanding even if this person was dishonest or disloyal with you. Studies have proven that oftentimes it's not so much the act itself, okay, that is the undoing but it's more the the act of betrayal the fact that this person you know has done whatever they've done here but they've kept it from you instead of coming to you to tell you to confess to you so I wonder if because they're keeping it to themselves and they haven't confessed the secret or you know whatever it is here and the fact that they are possessing it over and over and over again I wonder if it is something that is you know, it's definitely weighing heavily upon this person, but I wonder if it's not as bad as they think it is. Um, look, the other thing that the other thing that I'm picking up from this person, um, this is only for a small handful of you. You could be dealing with someone who is a narcissist. So, for those of you who are who do identify your person, you know, with a narcissistic um, energy here. This person might, you know, the reason why they might be holding on to a secret is because they just, they want to keep it to themselves. 
it's like a way of them holding on to ammunition against you. So, um, some of you, you've been confused or suspicious about this person, okay, and about especially something that's happened here recently. You've been confused and suspicious, and some of you, you don't even believe this person's explanations because they they become quite maybe aggressive in nature, they become very defensive, they raise their voice here, which is making you feel more suspicious and is making you feel like you're trusting this person less and less and is only adding to this confusion. So I do think that the, uh, the energy does tell us that this, is, this secret is taking up a lot of mental energy here, whether yours or whether theirs. Um, it does feel like it's something that they regret not being honest with you or not being honest with themselves here. Um, but the other question that I want to pose to a lot of you is, it, is it something that you're okay with? Because clearly this person, you know, has something that they might be holding on to, but they don't value you enough for you to know the truth. So there's some sort of informed decision that you're going to have to find a way. It does matter to them to be completely honest with you at some point, but I don't know if this person, you know, wants to be on, wants to do that just yet or has found a way to do that yet. Okay, and these are the messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please share your support by liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. Bye.